And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tristana Dreadway. That's right, it's Meme Tier Monday. We're going to be playing three really cool decks today. This is the first one. We're going to be combining uh, the Dreadway with some impact cards. So the Dreadway says double all damage dealt by your skills, spells, and allies. And so that does count like your allies dealing damage. And so we're going to be combining that with some different impact things. So we're going to have Tristana in here and we're going to be playing multi-region allies. And whenever Tristana levels up, it grants both itself and the multi-region ally impact. And so if you have like a leveled up Tristana and then you play, let's say three other allies that are multi-region, Tristana is getting impact three. And, you know, and then, uh, you know, we're going to be combining that with being able to double all the damage with these impacts. So... Basically, even if our opponent is blocking, they're still going to take lots of damage. And then uh, besides that, we'll have other damage things, you know, make it rain, pokey stick, some good stuff there. And uh, we'll have Citrus Curve to be able to rally so we can attack some more. Uh, we're going to have some some things that even just have impact on itself, like Protoporo. Going to be a nice little one drop for us. But of course, as you know, with these multi-region decks, Bandle City Mayor is really important. Because if you get Bandle City Mayor, then your Protoporo and your Hungry Owl Cats cost zero mana. You can drop them down. And everything costs less, right? Like Kingpin only costing two. Telescope costing one and so on. So that's what we're going to be kind of doing here. Um, both, you know, the Mayor and the Loping Telescope will be making more multi-region allies for us. So we can have even more. And that's that's kind of what we got, you know. And then with all the these little amounts of damage, hopefully we're leveling up Gangplank, and Gangplank can do its thing. Also got lecturing Urals in here because they go really well as far as leveling up Gangplank. They're also damage that we could double, um, and they can give the opponent some some uh, poison puff caps, which will also help level up Gangplank and uh, be pretty nice with the Dreadway. Because I think they're doubled by the Dreadway, but maybe not. But even not even if not, it's still going to be. Um, you know, helping out Gangplank and everything. So, let's get to it. Let's go and play some games. Tristana, Dreadway. We're just playing them in normal because it's meme tier day today. But honestly, this deck, just looking at it and everything, it looks pretty strong. Like, I could see this being a ranked deck for sure. Um, you know, maybe even instead of a meme tier deck. I like how it looks. So, we got the Commando. We got Tristana. I like both of those. We'll send Pokestick back. Hidden Pathways... I would normally always send back, but we are playing against a control deck. I'll still send it back. It's just, it's something that you want later on in the game, but not necessarily right away. And it's a good thing that we sent it back because we just got a new one anyway. Alright, hopefully no tw tw uh, Twisted Catalyzer. Alright, Twisted Catalyzer is the card that you never want to see. Wow. <laughs> Otterpus can just be so brutal sometimes. So yeah, now this commando has minus two powers, and now it just does nothing the rest of the game. That's insane for a little one drop. Alright, they do have the Twisted Catalyzer, so therefore we have to play this. Not Unyielding Spirit is kind of cool against Darkness and everything, but not good against Minimorph, so we're not going to take that. Um, I like the Moon Silver, but I also like Poros Lead. Let's just go and take the Poros Lead. I do like Moon Silver quite a bit. Okay, so the perfect round one, round two for the opponent. That's a thing. With our crystals combined. <laughs> and they should kill my Tristana, so we're gonna be left with us having one additional mana than them after this round. And we have one additional card. But one of our cards is really useless. So really, we both have four cards in hand. And they will kill the champion. Oh, 
And I guess we go Por Poro Sled over Gangplank. One goes down, thousands to go. Yeah, attack for more damage. Dealt seven damage to them, plus we got a little plucky Poro. Alright, got rid of Decinata. That's good, and a mini morph can help get rid of Senna. That's also good. Turn it against them. Um It's a good attack with the 3-4 also. Because that's just going to trade to the Poro Sled, like, whenever I attack back with the Poro Sled. Um, I guess they just kill the Poro Sled with this thing, too. Gangplank's only at two. Next thing I know, I'm up to my britches and purple berries. Come, come. Man, <laughs> stop making these things. It's another one mana fast speed. Deal threes. So, basically, I have to think about like what, whether or not I want to play the Protoporo first before attacking. I expect them to kill the Bandal Commando. But I'm gonna save spell mana for like you know hidden pathways, everything. Question is what to target with these. I'm kind of thinking just sending them both at Senna so that if we find one of our other one damage things, it would kill the Senna. But just getting the 3 2 out of here is not a bad idea either. Um, could we go upstairs? I guess they're at 8. This would put them down to 6. Man, life's difficult. This is a difficult decision. I guess getting I guess there's nothing wrong with getting a three two out of there. I think they have a two mana deal one damage for how they're like sitting there thinking, which is why I'm not just casting the uh, Protoporo right then. Well, I am glad I didn't just do damage to their Nexus. Oh, 10 mana.
every doubt. So there should be like the Poke Stick or Vile Feast. But I want to do this so they couldn't just make more another darkness with the Senna. Yes, that's Poke Stick or Vile Feast. or Tenor of Terror. We're about to go to 9 mana. Got 3 out of 5. Okay. So they didn't kill Vandal City Mayor. So that's good for me. We get to play the Sloping Telescope. Oh man, it would be cool to play Dawn Speakers. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's Dawn Speakers or the Messenger. It's Dawn Speakers. Gosh, so many pokey sticks. I don't know if the attack's worth it. I mean, because I attack, they block with the acolyte. Then I don't know if the attack's worth it, honestly. Maybe not. The only thing is, like, Withering Mist. If they're playing Withering Mist, like, next round, then do two to both of them. Like, that's the problem. Yeah, so that was all the Poke Sticks, right? Yeah, that was... They had all three. So they're out of Poke Stick. Dawn Speakers now because I played that draw two, but we do have the Pokey Stick.
Alright, this will level up Gangplank. We can make some O2 um, powder kegs. Uh, that card's gonna be a real problem. Cards a real problem. Do we afford anything now? It's not my Nexus. So that's good. Kind of want to attack to get that thing out of... Um, no, I shouldn't. I was going to say, I want to attack to get that thing out of the uh, range of a Vile Feast, but I don't want to just trade that for a Catalyzer whenever we have Gangplank. Long road behind, Man. Long road ahead. Hang them by their Chill. Entrails. Their flank. I know I'm not getting any value out of the Scout Attack. But I want to get this attack in as soon as possible. Because scout attack just means the 5-3 trades to the 3-2. Which, why would we do that whenever this is going to kill that 3-2 anyway? I don't know why the 1-1 one one's sitting in front of the overwhelm unit. Darkness is a really good deck. They could have definitely just killed me though if they they knew that ten. They could have just done like they've done a lot of damage that are not not my nexus here. They could definitely be dead already. Okay, so we don't have very much chance to win. We're gonna be dead super fast, so our only hope is. Nexus and draw something that does damage to the Nexus. Have them draw some puff caps. Draw puff caps. No, I didn't draw puff caps. And that doesn't really help. So that was our only hope because obviously this just kills us. But still, their hand was awesome, and we played a a tough game with them. Like we were we were kind of close, so. Um, what are they doing? Huh. I, like, shouldn't even be alive. But I guess we're still alive. Oh no, I guess so. I mean, I'll take my gangplank and stuff being dead as long as I'm not dead. Let's 
life beneath the waves. This thing wasn't the best hits. <laughs> so you get infinite deal ones. Mama's home. Words move hearts yeah, that was such a great conchologist. Shadow Isles is not a good Conchologist region. There are lots and lots of misses in Shadow Isles, but un unspeakable horror into Doom Beast is about as good as it gets. Oh man, why couldn't they have drawn? They just drawn a Puff Cap. understand what they were doing they they must not realize that they could win the game at any point like they must not realize that either that or they just want to play really long games and they have more fun killing stuff than winning games I, I don't know I don't know what's going on Diego Jace. I don't know. Pathways is nice also. We're going to keep many more for their champions, especially for Diego. And then we got Protoporal on one. We don't really need Protoporal on one, to be honest. It's actually kind of low impact. Alright. We're going to send those two back. All right, guess we got Protoporal on one. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. Yeah, Protoporal does <laughs> nothing against the one-two. Like, there's just no reason to play it. If we wait till after Tristana, you know, at least it'll be a two-one instead of a one-one. Man, our opponents are. You know, it's just it's just two games, but. Um, so far, they have both curved out perfectly. Like, it's like best one drop, best two drop. Just like last game, our opponent had best one drop, best two drop. Curved out perfectly. Okay, so Aloof Travelers is the best card, but if we want to go crazy next round, you know, we can drop like Tristana, Protoporo, Protoporo kind of stuff. Let's just grab Aloof, because I could definitely see them. Like, they're. A very removal heavy deck, probably. I could definitely see them Mystic Shotting. Oh, no Mystic Shot. Hmm. Not getting any bonus off the mayor yet, but I want to have this in play before we play the multi-region allies. Oh, right. They're just going to do that. Well, I suppose I walked into that. Should have been the Travelers. Yep, that was a bad play on my part. Should have played Travelers. Very pl bad play on my part. Yeah. Luck, a thing. Elf, that's 
not ours. It does make um, all these three threes everywhere and these deal three damage everything's has made aloof travelers worse. Just and generally speaking. This requires my largest official hat. I'm being greedy here and trying to double spell with the with the mayor and the travelers and hoping they don't kill mayor. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Uh they're what are they playing the is it a mid-range or control? That was the question. I'd say this is probably mid-range deck, but you can see these six mana spells that have just been put into the game are really powerful. These assembly lines getting two three threes for six mana is a really powerful spell, and, and then also, also, of course, the deal three twice. Just kill me. It's been very... Shall we bully off? You know, these are really powerful effects. Messed up my round two. Okay. But again, a great hand for the opponent, you know, just tip your cap to your opponent. Sometimes they curve out incredibly well and you know like we've seen like we've aloof travelers two seven drops and they've you know they're still doing just fine they have a hand you know a deck that looks like it could be pretty clunky at times mana wise but they curved out really well ggs We always expect to get all the wins on Meme Tier Mondays. I'm kind of planning on Citrus Courier to, to, to try to help stabilize, but it kind of want so I kind of want to pokey stick this three one first and not let them just get that block with the three one. Sure, you know, finance here is a fair card. Fair card. Definitely need to heal our Nexus now. Which was, how's the deck been working? Actually, not too bad. We've ran into two opponents that have had just perfect stuff all the time. Including, you know, like, best one drop, best two drop, and just going crazy. 
but we have been keeping up with them, you know, just a little behind each time, but hasn't been too bad. been too bad. Drastana can be, you know, really strong. You know, it can be a lot of power with impact and stuff. How? So many assembly lines. This is the third one. Third one of those. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me. Captain. Right now we got blockers. Okay, so that's gonna tap them out. Let's kind of do this and see what happens. Okay, so we do two to those two things. <clears throat> so we know which two we're doing two to. Now we can do this to that, this to that. We're left with just one three three. Watch out. Everyone so that's only <laughs> only two out of five with King Plank right now. After that, make it rain and stuff. Aloof. All right, so attack or aloof. Attack or aloof? I guess what I'd be worried about if we... Uh, yeah, I guess all I'd be worried about with an attack is like a Hydrovine or something. You know, any, anything we could just like mini morph anyway. So we us. don't need to aloof right away. Let's go ahead and do the attack first. Demacia sends its regards. Awesome. So that's the second Shock Blast. So we've gotten rid of three assembly lines, two Shock Blasts. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Just gonna mini morph that immediately. Before they, I don't know, before something happens. Hey, have I played any good Jace Shadow Isles decks? I we did play one. Um, I haven't. We've only played like one, I think, so far, but it was pretty good. I liked it. Let's see if I can find it for you. It's Jace Heimer. Spooky Jace. There you go. Okay. Go ahead and no, I think about passing there to, and just holding up, you know, mini morph, pokey stick, monster harpoon. But those two, those all together would be eleven mana. Can't play them all. I'm, so, I'm one mana short also for kingpin, pokey stick, harpoon after the Tristana. That's really lame. It's too bad. Almost came back, but they just had too strong of a start. Okay. Yeah, we just got a donation deck earlier today for Iceborne Legacy uh, Reforge workers. From Hope's End. Hope's End also, or no, no, Hope's End donated for the Taric Jace deck that we're about to play after this. 
Okay, Echo Jinx. Okay, hey, the Dreadway. Echo Jinx. Not sure exactly what Echo Jinx is going to look like. I kind of think I'm just going to keep Make It Rain and Pokey Stick, though. I'll just keep two mana cards. Two mana cards are good. Hello. Yeah, Make It Rain looks kind of good against that card. So does Pokey Stick. So waiting on Protoporo, you know, like, I'm just planning on using Mega Rain to kind of clear that card up. Waiting on Protoporo to see if we hit uh, Family City Mayor or more likely Tristana, you know, or Tristana that, you know, Tristana makes it a 2-1 instead of a 1-1. Owl cats in play. The Dreadway. Come on, cat. We got a cozy home for you. Yes. That was like the perfect one. I mean, it would have been perfect if it hit the two three instead, but you know, obviously, we want to hit that. Awesome. Get that echo out of here. I like that. So you're playing the six mana anomaly card to try to make more assembly lines. That's kind of cool. They only got three cards in hand. Kill Echo before lo before Echo levels up. No Chrono Breaks, please. Sixteen. Think we can take the hit at sixteen. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
So I'm thinking like play Dreadway, attack with Yordle, get Poison Dart, be able to do two damage with Poison Dart to Jinx. Does mean that we are going to be taking a Super Mega Death Rocket, most likely. Other option is Mini Morph Jinx immediately. Play Tristana. I want to go Dreadway. Okay, maybe, maybe that didn't work out perfectly. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. All right, so both their champions will be leveled up. We killed two Echoes and one Jinx so far. If they play a champion, I'm gonna just get many more fit immediately. Good. Just on a going in. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Of course, that was the last card they predicted on top. I don't really know what the Hydrovine is going to do, but probably something cool. Probably. King Plank level up. Okay. Get a <laughs> convincing win there at the end. Lots of impact, lots of damage. Not bad. Alright, we're one and two. GG's. Good win there. I think. I'm not sure if it's possible maybe for my opponent to hold on to Echo a little bit longer, especially like the second one, try to make sure it's leveled up first to get the Chrono Breaks in before playing it. I'm not sure, but our Make It Rains were really good, and we had a really lucky Make It Rain on the first Echo. So back to Sivir Jace. I kind of like everything, honestly. I think I want to keep this. I kind of like how Make It Rain could maybe bust up a spell shield on a Sivir for me. And then obviously Loping Telescope Aloof Traveler is really good. Vandal Commando does its thing. Just these... These six-cost spells are always super scary. I'm glad they're not going to be playing a six-cost spell right now. Serving lead. Don't really want to wait till next round and then miss these. We'll just kill them while we can.
Even though waiting till next round would be good for the Gangplank, of course. Would that make it rain, but... want to make sure to get those. And they still had six mana? I guess so. Job by Banal City Mayor. Or, well, Loping Telescope, I guess, with the Charger. Okay. Two Gangplanks. Got the backup. We'll keep the pressure on. Wow, what a draw. I can let me use my powder keg. All that is mine. rid of a spirit fire i do like spirit fire with jace you know like jace level up jace being able to double spirit fire is really cool give everything minus you know your opponent's stuff minus four minus zero and then they take two okay so i didn't get the other three one Spell shield gone. Ooh. You gotta play that. Yeah, and then and then with Jace, um, the acceleration gate getting the keywords on Sivir. Two random keywords on Sivir, that's pretty awesome. That was the card they just made. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Runners, form up! Loud and loud. Attacking with either the aloof travelers just trades with the three one. Which isn't fantastic, but... Do I have to? Yeah, it's not fantastic when we have Mega Rain, but that's just how it is. I don't want to probably save Mega Rain anyway for after Gangplank. And we want to put as much pressure on them as possible. Here's your cut. Is that going to level up Sivir? 20? Two, four, yeah, that does, doesn't it? Um, make it rain right now to try to hit Sivir. 
we have, what, a 3 out of 5 shot? A 60% shot of hitting Sivir? Uh, or we just let it happen. Huh. Right. Yes! Got Sivir. And we got the 3-1. If we pathways, can we get like Pokey Stick? Getting planks at four. All right, so that definitely level. I mean, that obviously levels up Sivir right there. Let's see if we hit Pokey Stick. Pokey Stick. Yeah. Ever before level? Wow. I wonder if we open attack next round. We just open right here. It's 11 damage. If they don't have any spell they can play. But we could also like play the Dreadway first. But, like, they block one of these, it's 11. Cool. Thank you, Tristana, with all the impact. That's kind of what our deck can do. GG's. Yeah, Shock Blast does have a cool animation. Defender of Tomorrow. Alright, we got Jace's card back. Yeah. Alright, Ash LeBlanc. Some Frostbite. Yeah, that was a really good uh, example of what Tristana can do and like how how good Tristana is, and just Tristana with just cheap units and Bandle City Mayor. That was pretty nice. Alright, love lecturing Yordle. Um, this Harpoon can take out an Ash for us. So I think we keep both of those. Alright. Fill out the curve. Aloof was really helpful getting rid of some of those cards, right? Like that Spirit Fire. Getting rid of that Spirit Fire was pretty clutch. Uh, I guess just... I guess just keep him. Crescent Strike's not, like, the worst or anything. A chill in the air. <laughs> I 
history forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Wasted effort. Okay, so they got Brittle Seal. All right, you brittle steal me. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. <laughs> we got gunner pups on both sides. Hmm. I guess. So I attack here, they block with a 3-3, that levels up LeBlanc. So then I have to like Pokey Stick. Obviously I can just rip Pokey Stick right now. I kinda like this line and just get the slow speed poison dart. You know, just go with the check of Troll Chant slash Elixir of Iron. Our strength is yours. And then... Cool. Because I don't want that LeBlanc to level up. And now we don't really have to attack. Citrus that thing's big. Man, I'm at 12? I didn't have Reckoning? I didn't really play around Reckoning. I... Yeah, I didn't play around Reckoning at all. Hmm. Alright, my best chance of winning this is they don't have Reckoning. Yeah, so I'm not going to just play around at all. Okay. No working so far, which is good. So I'm kind of not sure if playing Aloof Travelers is actually really worth it. Man, if they find a Reckoning, this game's over, but hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't. What's up, Pockets? Thanks for the resub for 17 awesome months. I appreciate that. Yeah, we don't have any, like, tenors in our regular deck, but, like, they're kind of, like, our car that we can hit quite a bit. Um, I just don't know if I want to, like, harpoon the 5-5. Five -five. And Lord, fear me, world, for I the darkness cometh. This is our homeland. I know a challenge when I see one. My units aren't as, you know, they aren't too valuable. We need to get damage on theirs.
Alright, going here on the harpoon. Keep my 3-1 alive. 3-1 blocks profitably. Those things. Hey, what's up, Tristana? Many tribes under one banner. Ugh. I was kind of hoping they would play one other thing first, and then I'd be able to Crescent Strike. You will sing. Ready. Not too bad. Could be worse. The good thing here is that we know that they're going to be uh, drawing just like, you know, regular old 5-5s five here pretty soon. Oh, that's a good play, I guess. That's a good play. Okay, not bad. I'm still probably pretty fine, so we... Shoot that, block there, block here, we're taking four, going to three, I don't really mind going to three, as long as this works, hopefully works, hopefully they just drew, you know, just enraged yeti, oh, that last card that they had though was a troll chant, really, that was the last card in hand, it was another spell? I guess I shouldn't attack with 4-2, like that's... If I just don't attack with the 4-2, just be patient. We're fine. I can't mini-morph, right? Well, no. Can't mini-morph. Yeah, just shouldn't attack with the 4-2. But their last two cards being spell, spell. Um, you know, that's that was the thing that hurt me, was that their last two cards were spell, spell, and they were... That last game was a good game. It was a close game. It was back and forth. Both, uh, you know, we both were doing cool things. That was a good game. You know, like that's what that's what you kind of want. And they were uh, they were victorious. Uh, GGS. That was a good game, though. Um, I could have sat back a lot more, you know, and just blocked and been a lot more patient uh, than what I was. And for how the game played out and how it looked like what they had, you know, like I was. I was scared of Reckoning, though. The reason why I didn't is because I was scared of Reckoning, because if I sit back and they sit back, you know, like, any time, like, a Reckoning just wins the game right away. And so I wanted to be a little bit proactive and, and try to, you know, force some trades. And and uh, being aggressive there did open me up to those, you know, counterattacks because I didn't have blockers across the board. And so, you know, like that, that, was, the, that was the risk that I took. Um, it turned out they never had Reckoning, and so if I would have just sat back, I think, you know, we could have stayed alive a little longer and, and waited for, like, the Dreadway to take over. But that's just, you know, how it is. So, good game. You know, they, they had lots of other spells, though. Lots of good interaction, lots of troll chants, lots of frostbite. And it came down to, like, at, at the end there, they ended up having uh, three sisters into troll chant for those last two cards. Where if they don't have 
either one of them you know if they have one or the other i'm i'm happy but they had both and and we lost so that was a good game anyway i liked the deck though i definitely think this could be a ranked deck uh you know even though we went two and three uh the you know first two games were just insane you know we played against two tier one decks with insane hands uh but anyway i i liked the deck i think that there was lots of really good stuff here uh, i kind of wouldn't mind just a little bit more i don't know removal maybe not three hidden pathways I, the citrus courier i wasn't very impressed with um even like monster harpoon was just like super expensive so basically i think we could maybe play like some buster shots i think buster shots being two mana almost all the time two mana deal three uh could really help us like stabilize and, and get ahead and stuff and just you know like trade up on mana right it'd be killing three four mana champions and like really good cards for two mana i think that's i think i'd want some buster shots in here that's like kind of the thing. I think Protoporo was whatever. Maybe play like two of those. Kingpin could go to like one and we could take out, you know, either a Pathways, a Citrus Courier, a Mini Morph, or a Harpoon. Um, not the Mini Morph, but a, a Harpoon, yes. Um, and that, you know, those could all just be, you know, kind of trim around the edges there. And get three buster shots in here. I think that would help out with just like these three threes everywhere these days. All right, so there we go. That's the one little thing I would change. But um, I think the Dreadway Tristana looked good. And just basically Tristana, you know, like Tristana with all these multi-region things. Game Plank looked really good with the, you know, just getting the Powder Keg was was really nice and, and being a big attacker. Um, yeah, I, liked, I think new Tristana is pretty strong. Good card. Uh, chat saying that maybe some Yordles in arms, and I could definitely see that too. I could definitely see some Yordles in arms. I think that, uh, yeah, I could actually see that. Maybe maybe we just don't need that Harpoon or that, uh, instead of that Citrus Courier, just playing Yordles in arms probably fin probably ends up being a better finisher for us. Um, you know, like, it, yeah. Giving plus four, plus four to a bunch of like these small things that we're going wide with. I like that. I like that. And I think that's that's probably the thing. Okay, so let's let's try that. You still have your mini morphs, like two mini morphs for like the big stuff, and you can still have like your card draw, uh, and then um, you know getting some Buster shots for basically two mana all the time to add in with the Make It Rain Pokey Sticks for some more damage based stuff, and then boom, big yours yours and arms. I think that that could be pretty cool. All right, so let's yeah give that a try right there. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube. Hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know what you think of Tristana Dreadway. I know we have it here on Meme Tier Day, but I think this one this one looked really solid. I think this could be a ranked deck for sure. So let me know in the comment section. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.